emergency management theory. Does it exist? And what is it? Emergency management can be defined as an organized analysis, planning, decision-making, and assignment of available resources to mitigate, prepare for, respond to, and recover from the effects of hazards. The goal of emergency management is to save lives, protect property, and prevent injuries. There are four phases of emergency management. The first phase is mitigation, and this occurs right before the disaster or emergency. This is meant to reduce the long-term risk caused by the disaster. An example would be tying down homes with ground anchors, buying insurance policies, or reinforcing fences. The second phase is preparedness. This is planning, training, and educational activities for events that cannot be mitigated. An example would be creating a supply list useful in a disaster. The third phase is response. This occurs right after the disaster. During this phase, businesses and other operations do not function normally. Some examples of this would be conducting search and rescue missions, implementing disaster response plans, and taking actions to protect you and your family. Finally, there's recovery. This is the restoration efforts occur concurrently with regular operations, and this can be prolonged. An example would be rebuilding homes. So, According to the Museum of Natural History, a theory is a well-substantiated explanation of an aspect of the natural world that can incorporate laws, hypotheses, and facts. Furthermore, the term theory conjures up divergent opinions among scholars. It is difficult to say if such a system of information exists in emergency management and what that entails since the field is relatively new and because it intersects with so many other academic disciplines. As an example, if there were no general consensus on what a hazard is, we would not be able to understand disasters nor explain how hazards relate to other in terms such as vulnerability. According to FEMA, without clarity on this subject, a discussion about different types of hazards, example, natural, technological, civil, would be impossible or unproductive. Though there cannot be one set theory, theories can be useful in emergency management. Theories can help guide decisions, guide emergency managers, and help plan for the beginning and aftermath of a disaster. Some examples of theories as they relate to emergency management are normative theories and behavioral theories. Emergency managers are required to draw upon concepts from several disciplines to practice their profession. The behavioral theory helps emergency managers determine how those affected in a disaster will react and respond to the disaster effects. This theory can help emergency managers better plan to help those in need following a disaster or emergency. Looking for both structural and behavioral barriers means to examine a wider set of influences and pay attention to the social, psychological, as well as economic factors that affect what people think and do. The normative theory is the basis of what an emergency plan should be. There are numerous normative theories that are very useful to emergency managers. These frameworks have been designed to specify actions that emergency managers ought to take. It is assumed that their effectiveness will be enhanced if they abide by these prescriptive lessons. So does emergency management theory exist? No, it does not exist, but there are many theoretical processes involved in analyzing and planning in regards to emergency management and disasters. The reason this does not exist is because emergency management is too literal and broad to be a theory. It is practiced so much that it is considered a system. A theory must be a universal idea used by everyone. Every disaster is different, as well as the culture of the society it hits. For example, in Louisiana, the culture is super family-oriented, so they may be more open to volunteer and help other victims, as, say, in Florida, it may not be that way. Disasters are far too unpredictable to have a universal code. In closing, emergency management is a system while a theory is a set of ideas.